Hello there, welcome back to Peaks Peak. I'm Lucas and uh, today we are uh, just kind of doing a few chores around the farm, getting everybody fed and taking care of the ducks. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit about our plan to incubate some duck eggs. Uh, we've got uh, some ladies laying eggs over here. So we decided to gather them up. I think we gathered up uh, 13 duck eggs and nine chicken eggs and put them in the incubator. We did that on Sunday, so they've been in there for about five days. So when we prepare eggs for the incubator, we just wash them with a little bit of Dawn dish soap and scrub the dirt off of them so they'll be clean and ready to go in. All right, so we got the incubator going. Now we actually need to take this off and put water in it first. All oh, this water? Yes. Wait until I tell you when and where. channels filled up like this one um i don't think yeah that's like the open area around it we don't fill that we're almost up to 99 and a half i would say with the lid on we probably are so we are ready to load it with eggs and here's what we want to do we want to spread them out in there okay so just pick a spot Mm -hmm. two way. You're doing just great. Are we doing two way? You put them wherever you want. So do you have to put them in these things? We got to put them in these little fingers because what these fingers do is they're on little trays that rotate back and forth and that keeps the eggs what? turning so that we don't have to open it up and turn them around by hand. Let's see here. I think I should be able to see the thermometer like that. So let's get the lid on. Looks pretty good, man. Let's see if we can read the thermometer from out here. Now, we got to wait about a week and then we can candle them and see if they're Candy. fertilized. Yeah, remember that with the flashlight, you call that candling. But we use the flashlight and we set them on there and see or if you can see veins. Use the candle. Well, but it would be more efficient with a flashlight. Yeah. So, our incubator has just a little thermometer sitting down in there. Right now, it's where I had the lid off, it's cooled down, and so it's actually not quite up to 90, but we've got it set to where it'll get up to right at 99 and a half, and I'll check it over the next few minutes. Ours doesn't take very long to get it to the right temperature, so I'll check it in a little bit and make sure it's at 99 and a half and not getting too warm. But we've got a fan circulating in there. We filled up the little uh, water reservoirs with water, and uh, yeah so now we wait and see how they do now these eggs we just picked up from our ducks out over in the duck sanctuary and we don't know if they're fertilized or not um 
in fact i know there's a male over there but you know um anyway so we'll test these in about a week with the flashlight and see if they look like they're fertilized and uh, go from there we'd like to hatch some ducks to put up on our pond we got everything all set up in there got the temperature just right 99.5 degrees and uh, put the water in there got the humidity up a little bit and uh, so yeah hope, hoping to have some little ducks and once those ducks hatch the plan is to put those ducks on the pond i have also been told that ducks living on a pond will help to seal a pond so that it doesn't lose water because the, as they swim around they poop in the water so if i can put 10 or 12 ducks up there and uh, and they live up there it'll be something kind of fun to have and uh, maybe that'll help us out along the way so we've got uh, we got this little duck house over here um it's not a duck house yet but that's that's kind of the plan uh, my son brought it home thinking he was going to make a quail coop but it's been sitting there for several months and he hasn't touched it so i'm probably going to nab it out from under him and uh, make a duck house out of it uh, let's hope he don't find out uh, but anyway, that's that's kind of what we got going on so far. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Look at you birds. Y'all ready to eat? Come on. Come on. Go on, Tom. Hey, Casper. Now y'all gotta let me through. Hi, Jenny. Well, hey, Chuck and Patty, y'all hungry? Huh? All right. Go on. There you go. Some. Hey Alfie, how you doing? You go eat. Oh, I hear you down there, pigs. Some layer pellets. We gotta freshen up the water. Oh, uh, goodness. All right. Hey, duck. Go on in. You get up there. There you go. Look at that sloppy mess, would you? Huh? Boys are getting big. How about you, Oreo? Huh? Y'all stink just a little bit. You know it? Just a little bit. You know, if you didn't stand in your food, it wouldn't be such a muddy mess. Well, there's the first hay bale after a week. So they've been enjoying it. Tom, you eating plenty? Huh? Hey, Red Fox. Right well, here. I'll give y'all a few, a few of the ducks pellets. Not many. Got to save them for them. Hey, guys. Eat them up. Hey, you pig. Come here. Come here. Let 
That's you, Chuck. Alright, now i got to run the Kubota up the hill to the neighbors. I'm going to borrow his post auger so I can get ready to drill some holes for my new building. So we're not going to be drilling any holes today, but he's home, so it's a good time to get hooked up to it and uh, get ready for work. So I'm going to run up there real quick. Alright, so we're back with the post auger. So we're ready to dig some holes. So my next plan was to go lay out my batter boards and pull string to square up my building site. However, it is raining and nasty, and I don't think it's gonna stop for a few days. So, I kinda missed that window. I was hoping I'd get an hour or two before, or when I got home from work today, uh, to get it uh, squared up and kinda get that laid out, but it uh, doesn't matter, can't drill holes in the rain anyway. Um, the building probably will be delivered either in a couple of days, um, maybe on Friday or Monday, so uh, we're looking forward to that rolling in here, but uh, we're not gonna be able to do anything on it until next week anyway, so I guess no big rush. Um, I just kinda hate to have an evening wasted by the rain, but ah, it's, it's nice and we could use it. Maybe it'll fill that pond back up. Here's my boards I was gonna use to lay out the batter boards. There's the rain coming across. Hey Alfredo, Are you scared of the rain, huh? Are you afraid of the rain? You don't mess around in the rain, do you? No. Hey Chief, what's up? I see Littlefoot over there. Pox. Hey Pox. They all like to get in and out of the rain, even Tom and Jenny. Surprisingly, Chuck and Patty, they normally come in out of the rain, but they're grazing. And by grazing, I mean eating the hay. <laughs> That's good, I'm glad they like it. I hate to be filling up the watering trough when we've got forecast for rain, but it was pretty dirty, so I had to dump it out and wash it out, so uh, go ahead and get it filled back up for them. Now the ducks don't seem to mind the rain. We got some mud around here now. About time to haul in some wood chips. <laughs> wood chips help us to keep the mud under control for the winter. Hey, Chuck and Patty. Is that good? You guys digging into the middle? Of course, Chuck, he always wants Patty to be between the two of us. Patty, you're growing right up on me, you know it? Let's go check out and see what the pigs do in the rain. Yep, there they are. Look at you all hiding out in there. Well, you think I'm gonna give you some more food? Is that what this is? Huh? Now listen, Orville and Wilbur and Oreo. Watch out for that fence, it'll get you. Oreo, you're growing, you're doing good. Yeah. See all kinds of strips of bacon there. Uh-huh. What's that mean? Does that mean feed me some more? Huh? Well guys, it looks like this rain might pass on through. Looks like it might pass on through in the next half hour or so. So I might get out there and do a little bit of work building the batter boards anyway and getting them set up. May not stretch the string since it's gonna rain for the next several days anyway. It probably would just kind of get wet and soggy and stretch out. So, uh, but I might go ahead and build my, my frames for my batter boards and get that set up. That way we'll have that much out of the way. Then when it's dry and I'm ready to get to work on it, I can go ahead and stretch the string and measure it out and get everything set up and ready to go. So, uh, you know, not a whole lot of action in this video other than the daily chores and kind of getting things uh, set up. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the way things go. It's not always uh, action packed around the homestead, but we've always got a little bit of something going on. So hope you guys enjoy the video today and y'all have a good weekend. Yep, we're back just in time. 
Nine times out of 10, I forget and leave it on and run it over. But we got it today, didn't we, Alfredo? Huh? Now, I have to think there had to be a smarter move than for me to set this up to where I have to drag my garden hose through all the manure to fill up the watering trough because you can imagine what's about to happen as I roll this hose back up. <laughs> Hey, Tom. Hey, Jenny.